G'day Steel Nation Australia, g'day Steel Nation Worldwide, and g'day Steel Nation Universe. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today's video is quite different. I'm going to try and tackle one of the news stories today. We have, the Steelers have now a new offensive line coach with Pat Meyer. The big question is though, why do we care? Why do we overly care about the, the new offensive line coach? I just want to phrase it that way. So I'll be doing uh, another video on my uh, Pittsburgh Steelers syndicate, and I wanted to try and tackle it from two different, uh, you know, uh, looks. So the news breaks this morning. Okay, I wake up at 7 a.m. I'm like, hang on a minute. There's new news, Steelers news. We hire, or the Pittsburgh Steelers hire, the new guy, Pat Pat Meyer from, he, used to, he spent 20 years in the league. He's now been with the, he was with the Panthers um for for the last two years he had that o-line there could also could use you know uh mccaffrey too the thing is straight away and in this new idea that we are in the new social media uh, media sports media that you know straight away everyone's out there most of the people i don't know i want to know your thoughts they're thinking hang on like this guy isn't he can't win as a championship and i'm thinking He's the offensive line coach. He's not the offensive coordinator. He's not the, the defensive coordinator. He's not the coach. He's only one small part to the team. And he's not even really, uh, he doesn't play, he doesn't play the game. He just coaches the fellas how to play the game and what they should do in different schematics and schemes and where they need to get better with their hands, their feet, you know, uh, where they can be consistent along, along that O-line. So, as soon as, it, I find it so funny now, as soon as news breaks, rather than congratulate the man, Pat Meyer saying, thanks, mate, come into, come into the Steelers, you know, with all welcome arms. And, and a lot of you guys do that. Like 10% will go, you know, congratulations, welcome to the team. We bring him in. And the first thought is, why didn't we get Mike Munchak, right? Why don't we get that guy? Why don't we get this guy? With the Steelers organization, we're consistently always saying why we didn't get someone. We're not appreciating who we do get. Like this guy, Pat Meyer, I don't know him from a bar of soap, but he but he hasn't even walked into, he probably hasn't even walked into the organization yet. He probably isn't, haven't, has not even had a chance to have a coffee and sit down. Let's give this guy a chance, okay? Let's, as Steelers fans, let's give this guy a chance. We're too quick to judge and say, oh, he's not going to work out. He will not work out. He, he had a terrible O-line with um, uh, Panthers is the reason he got fired. He was like he was like 30, I think he was like 30, 30th or 29th with the Panthers last two years. We're pretty bad too. Uh, before that, he was with the Chargers. I believe he was like the 15th like O-line coach. What are we doing? What are we doing? We are too quick to judge. So quick to judge on a man. We hire a guy and straight away, it's not the person that you want. And look, Mike Munchak did some really brilliant things with us throughout the years. But obviously, he doesn't want to come back to Pittsburgh. We're here with Pat. Pat Meyer is going to be the new guy. And he's, in all scheme of things, he's not the biggest part to, to the team. The big part is getting the O-line back, back together. Like, we need to be more consistent, more physical, and keep the, the quarterback upright. And we need better play out of uh, Kendrick Green. We need better play out of Dotson to stay healthy. We need better play from Dan Moore Jr. to go into his second year now at left tackle. We need who's gonna who's gonna come on the other side of the the right tackle. Be Chooks will be there. I think he might be a free agent. Uh, Trey Turner is almost also a free agent. We're funny, man. We're funny. We're a funny bunch, aren't we? We're a funny bunch that say one guy comes in and instantly we just go all over him, all over. Okay. I'll be doing another video. I'm trying to do to juggle two things: doing a Steel Nation Australia and also doing content on um, uh, Pittsburgh Steelers Syndicate. That will be a little bit different, not as ranty, just just stating the fact that that Pat's coming over. But I wanna I wanna also with this video in the same time frame, I wanna see what resonates better. Me yelling, me yelling at this. Like, like, why do we? Why do we care? Why do we care? I don't understand. I remember when I was little and watching kid right. Uh, when the football season ended, you kind of just waited to the end of the year and the football was back on. You didn't even know who the receiver coach was, the, the O-line, these guys. You didn't have any idea. You didn't have any cornerback, uh, secondary coach. 
And we're so quick to jump on this. As soon as we get a new O-line coach, rather than congratulate him, we, we end up shitting on him and just say, well, he sucks. He's not very good. We should have got someone better. We're going to fail for the next five years. Please, as Steeler fans out there, we can't do that. We, can't, we, need to be, we need to be positive in our team. And look, maybe you, you call me I'm not a realist, right? But I know what happens to these other teams. If, you're not, if you kick yourself and always down about the Steelers or we're going to be a really bad team, then the team starts to act that way. They really do. So my final thoughts on this subject and on this, um, you know, uh, congrats to, to Pat Meyer, the new offensive line coach. One says, one says, who cares? Like, it doesn't overly matter who we have, as long as we have someone there who can, who can lead the fellas in the right direction. And the second point, congratulations. Welcome to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Welcome to the Steelers. I hope and wish that, Pat, you do the best that you can that you can provide the, the, the Steelers O-line with a new, you know, force of energy to go out there and actually want, want to participate and become a Steeler and run as a Steeler and run people over. Like, we are the 32nd best in run. Like, we were 31st or 31st or 32nd with Najee behind an O-line. And hopefully we can draft some guys on the O-line. Maybe then things will change and we can start to play some better steel football. So. Before you guys all rag on him and say he's the worst coach, why would we choose him? We could have got someone completely different. We did what we did what you guys wanted. A lot of you guys wanted to hire outside the organization. We did that, and we bring someone in, and everyone says, "Who is it? Oh, I've never heard of this guy. He must be he must be terrible." I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Maybe I'm getting too old. I don't know. All I, all I know is that the guy has a chance to be a Pittsburgh Steelers coach. And what better than that to, to get around and start to work with a new quarterback who we don't know what's going to be. We have Najee. We have key pieces like Dotson to build around more. Green, if he, if he goes back into center, you know, depending if we sign Trey Turner, which I'm not too sure we will. And if Chooks is still around too on the left-hand side. And what happened to Zach Banner, right? I don't know. I'm just, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Do you think it overly matters? Is it is it not a news story? Is it a big news story? Um, signing Pat Meyer, does that end our championship run? It hasn't even started yet. We're in February. We're in February. All right, so congrats to Pat Meyer. Thanks, everyone, for checking out Steel Nation Australia. Uh, bit of a different take, but I wanted to try and do this video and my other one. And I'm going to see which one kind of flies. They might go both down. All right, as always, here we go, Steelers. Here we go. Oh, it's, it's fucking crazy.